Uh, hi, my name is Jordan Cheney. Uh, I'm a spoken word poet residing here in Kennewick, Washington. Uh, this is a poem that I wrote called Ode to Grape, and I wrote it based on my love for wines and the, the culture and the industry around here. Enjoy. I have a crush on you. You beautiful bulbous berry of the gods, you galaxy of dark blue stars, you plump and precious bottle of Pinot Noir, I simply adore you. You sometimes gorgeous green thing drooping a thousand times from paintings, always nude and next to tulips. The Pinot Gris on your tulips puts the kiss in kismet. It's serendipitous the way we have come together. Mighty migrant workers are up to their shins in mud, are sweating in the sun, are plucking darkened rubies all from my tongue, getting paid in pesos to slave away from my fair love. You are endless without edges, a purple pearled necklace with a cluster of cleavage dangling beneath it, a scarlet goddess robed in a red dress sagging on the vine, marauding my fantasies every midnight when the skylight is Merlot-like. I love the way you bat your lashes at me while layered in lingerie, then splash into my cup like purple rain and climax when you pass my tongue and come into long stemmed glasses. You look like a pinup doll showing off your legs and back, making my heart patter fast and then faster until my pulse is completely unfastened. Alas, you are crimson. A succubus, a full-body Jezebel who has had everybody's filthy hands on you. From train-hopping hobos to snobs with mountains of dollar bills, you slept in crates and dirt fields next to windmills, in alleys next to burning barrels, and even in sheets woven from the finest of silks. But I don't care about your cheap past and how you were stepped on daily, how your delicate skin was beaten and smashed or when you lived in boxes with both eyes blue and black. To me, you are still a rose that grew from history's trash. My love is unconditional. You are both the Mother Teresa and Mary Magdalene of all the fruits, a noble truth serum with heavenly roots and Savion rivers flowing bright through your veins, turning tongues into pure silver, a miracle like magic, a mystic once summoned you from a glass of water. To make men meek, you put the vine in divine, and my mind is an aimless cork afloat, a placid sea, sacred grape to saintly mate, hallowed be thy taste, Miss Holy Water, if you please. I love you. Because when I was sour, when my heart was withering away like a raisin in the sun, when every part of me shattered asunder and I was picking up the pieces all over the streets, you stood by in the countryside waiting for me to mature, and then cherry blossomed into my life singing a song of dreams, of tomorrows, and swept all of my sorrows away. I want you to know that sitting on the couch with you is enough for me. We can watch the sun melt like gold into the hills. We can imagine that the sun is sinking into the earth and impregnating her with our hopes and with our dreams. And we can watch as she gives birth as the harvest ripens and comes forth and brings our visions full circle back into being. And so when we toast, we'll know that our souls are swallowing their own dreams. Jordan, what was your inspiration for this poem? Uh, the poem I wrote... First, out of my love of wine and the wine culture here in our area, um, but then each stanza kind of was a different take on relationships and on love and on uh, people's stories and women's stories that I've heard, and I kind of wanted to illustrate what that would look like through wine, and so I titled it Ode to Grape, a very general uh, title, uh, but with a very large and colorful uh, description. What other poems have you written? What What's your style, I guess? Uh, my style is spoken word poetry. It has a lot of uh, roots in hip-hop, but it's really uh, um, very imaginative, very love, very passionate uh, poetry. I have poetry that relates to some of my political views, and I have poems that are simply about my fiancé and the love of my life. Um, uh, it represents struggle, it represents overcoming, and it, and it represents uh, spiritual consciousness, uh, the style of writing that I am into. Where did you grow up? Uh, here in the Tri-Cities. Moved here in 1988, uh, moved from L.A. Uh, yeah, I've been here ever since. Graduated from Kamaikin High School in 1998. Okay. 
And uh, you've you've been performing this uh, poem around uh, at wineries, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I've been at Cole Solari, uh, Bookwalter Winery. Uh, supposed to line up some things with uh, Prosser, a bunch of the wineries out there. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And we're also looking forward to you perhaps uh, writing some more poems uh, uh, for us uh, to perform about the wine industry. Oh, absolutely. I have a couple pieces that I've been working on. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing those as well. Well, we're looking forward to dubbing you the uh, Poet Laureate of the Northwest Wine Industry. Yeah, yeah, that's exciting. I'm real honored to have such a title and especially to represent uh, the area with that title because, uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see the art and the culture kind of being poured into our area through, <laughs> through wine. It seems like uh, your poems and your style of poetry actually uh, is enhanced when, when you are performing it versus when it's uh someone's reading it. is that is that am i correct in that yeah yeah it's written with a, a kind of music to it a rhythm uh, it, you can read it on page but then it really is it's written to be listened to or seen uh, live and in person okay and you have a, a collection out on cd where can uh, someone find that yeah, uh, if you go to iTunes.com, uh, you search Jordan Cheney or Mighty Peasant, which is the name of my CD, and you can find it there. It's also on CDBaby.com. Uh, the book is also available on BarnesandNoble.com through the Nook download, and on my website, BillowingWords.com. All right. Well, Jordan, hey, thanks for your time, and thanks for sharing your poetry. This is great. Yeah, I appreciate it.